All right, it's pretty simple. I can click to spawn a human, and then when I buy a house, now I can click to get even more humans. I don't know how I'm making them, but I don't need to know. It's important just that I am. Look at how many are popping. It's like a little volcano of, well, fleshy human pit. I believe every couple houses that I buy, like so, increases the amount of humans I get per click, so now I'm up to four, and just tap, tap, tap away until I get man's favorite pastime, a nice little tavern to drink at, which... It's giving me 10 humans a second just for doing nothing. So let's go ahead and buy two more of those. It's like one for each household. And now I can just mash like mad and oh, I leveled up. Massive seed. Citizens aren't sure whether they should investigate it or just let it grow. Just let it grow. Surely nothing bad will happen, right? Oh, it's purely cosmetic, but now I have a giant beanstalk. All right, well, hey. I know a certain giant who's going to be stoked about that. All right, get back to just spawning these guys from clay. What are you, golems? Don't worry. Eventually, I'm going to have like a gajillion people people in this village. So of course I need a watchtower to make sure we don't get attacked. What's that do? I think it's just giving me an extra 40 humans per second without doing anything. Why is this counting down? Is that till our inevitable death? It just disappeared. Okay, well, that's confusing. But I want to get 10 houses total. Get popped up, friends. What <gasps> What just happened? Oh, no, I didn't read. Oh, I leveled up. I think I... Dragon's Lodge gives 3% per click. Oh, sweet. I guess whatever I clicked helped out a lot. But there's going to be a dragon somewhere. We just kind of glossed over that. Time for two more watchtowers. And let's just buy, like, 12 taverns. Bruh. Now I'm getting 133 people per click. Oh, because my watchtowers are giving me 40 per click now. Oh, I... I get it. So then I've saved up enough for this herbalist hut, which just goes right next to the beanstalk, fitting. But now I'm getting a thousand people per second. Makes me feel more comfortable in buying these houses. Tavern of Ghost? Ghosts have been sighted in the city's tavern. You should welcome them or ask your most trusted wizard to get rid of them. No, welcome in, buddies. A burning tavern? <laughs> I'm losing minus 2% people per second, but I'm getting plus 3% per click. Doesn't matter. I can just buy another herbalist hut, and now I'm gaining people faster than ever before. I want 50 houses, 25 taverns, and I guess just six watchtowers will have to do for now. Spawn more people. Go. It's like a groovy little house party. Just give me all of the human population. I need it. I need it for tax reasons. Huh? People are the most profitable resource. An old ruin's been found somewhere around the city? No, absolutely rebuild it. Are you kidding? me? That sounds fun. Oh, it's a bunch of ghouly ghosts. It gives me minus 1% total of everything, but it looks cool. So you know what? I'm fine with it. I want 10 watchtowers, five herbalist huts, and now I'm almost getting 500 people per click. Does my auto clicker work here? Oh yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. This is already in my next little level. Mushrooms freak me out. They feel like they're sentient and I don't like that. However, this one gives me 1% total. Oh, it like just counters my ghost keep. Get screwed, idiot. Oh, and I have enough stuff. I can buy an archery range now. That gave me a plus 3,000 to people clicking power. Okay, so we're just we're just going up um, a lot really, really quickly, huh? Get the town jumping. We got this, friends. I'm about to be at my next little level. Goblin settlement? Oh, no. Looks like I'll have to invite in more people. Bruh. It's plus two per second. <laughs> Oh, see, being nice works. And now more archery ranges. Five of them total. You can go up to 10 herbalist huts, like 20 watchtowers. Oh yeah, 16,000 per click. <laughs> That's just going up so much faster. Oh my gosh. This is like insane. I can buy a butchery now, which is giving me 100,000 per second. It's a bit concerning just given the implications of a butchery, but still, I guess whenever you've got nearly 3 million people in your population, you got to feed them. Actually, am I killing these people to build these things? I mean, ah, whatever. I just won't think about it. It's the simple solution. Shelter for flowers. He just wants a place for his flower shop. Yeah, here you go, buddy. Have one right back there. Plus one total. Wow, okay, we are going up. I think I'll be able to buy two more butcheries. So that's just 400,000 per second now for free, uh, which immediately lets me buy like another butchery because now I'm making half a million per second. That feels busted. So I'm just going to uh, auto click the house buying option. Okay, that's there's some. <laughs> shake hell but good news i've got 150 houses did i do that again but with taverns how many just drop in everywhere in here <laughs> like Christmas. Christmas for alcoholics and lonely men. So I'm at 17,000 clicking people. I've got a lot more uh, buildings around now. It's 35 million for my next bakery, which is going to give me a 300,000 click person summoning skill, I think. The Wizard Siege. You can seek help from the Dark Wizards in the city or you evacuate the countryside and wait till they move on. What do I need help with? I don't know. I mean, I'll ask. Oh man, they took away 4% of my things per second, but plus 2% click. You know what? That works. Because after saving up, big 
bakery time. 300,000 people per click. Oh, we are flying now. Only fitting because my blacksmith is 400 million. Why does it come across a split deep in the mine? Should I go left or right? Human nature says go left, so I'm going right. Bruh. What did I get? Minus one total? <laughs> That's just, I should have given into my nature. I almost get a million per click. If I just get like two more bakeries, I think I'm golden. Actually, just one more. 989,000. By an archery range a little bit. There we go. Now we're at a million people every time I click the button. You can imagine how fast this is about to skyrocket then. Just mash a whole bunch and then buy a whole bunch of butcheries. I'm at 2 million people per second now. Keep on clicking. And we're level 10. A mischievous group of goblins has occupied an ancient ruin. Last time the goblins were nice. Can I negotiate with them? It gives me more per second, but minus one per click. I think I've just evened out all my negatives and positives. Oh, but I'm under a million now. Fine, buy another bakery. Actually, you know what? Three of them. There we go. <laughs> I'm almost at 2 million per click. Wait, now I am. Getting the click rate up is the absolute cheat code. Because now you... Yes, I'm able to buy the blacksmith. 12 million per second gets me to 14 million. Dude, I'm gonna have like the actual 7 billion world's population in this tiny little area. Maybe I should do that thing where I just auto buy houses for a second. I mean, the housing market probably just collapsed, but I'm at 200 of them. Bruh. Okay, see it went, nah, split in the mines. I go left this time. There we go, plus 3% per click. I've learned from my past mistakes and I've chosen to never make them again. <laughs> Like that all the buildings just start bouncing around when I click. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> All right, more blacksmith times two. I wanna get that to be 50 million people automatically, like so. Cause then it means I can just sit here and do nothing but work on my breathing exercises for a bit and I'm still profiting like mad. Plus my diaphragm has never felt better. Oh, we're about to be at level 12 goblin settlement. Wait, it was good whenever I invited them last time too, right? Yeah, plus two more per second. I have two embassies right next to each other. Think you'd put them like across the town or something, but yeah, I guess that's fine. And now if I can just get 300 million more people in real quick, we can introduce religion which put my clicking power up to almost 30 million. Oh man, it's about to be just pouring in upgrades. All right, yep, give me another church. Now I get 57 million people per click. That's so stupid, give me another one. Yep, 84 million. Can I, I and click? There we go. Yep, there's 112 million people every time I click the button now. I'm at 21 billion. I can probably buy four more churches. Now I have 224 million people per click. Tell you what, put the auto clicker on. Just do that and I'll hit space bar. That's... Oh. Hey, that's a lot of numbers. Oh my gosh, population boom. All right, was the end of World War II. Dragon's Den? Oh yeah, no, this was also great last time. But, oh, this is very different from the thing I got. Oh, because last time I recruited dragon hunters, this time I recruited dragons. Bruh. Maybe it'd be good to mix things up then. This gives me plus 1%, but adds some variety to my houses. This farm gives me a billion people per second. Buy it. Mass click some more, because I can buy another one. I, I'm getting a population of 2 billion now. It's. I don't know if the secret lies in spam buying more churches or just spam buying more farms. Farms. Either way, getting farms is <laughs> actually pretty easy. <laughs> I'm worried about like the sewage and like health in this city though. I feel like I don't really have anything good. Okay, so last time I asked the Dark Wizards for help, this time we'll evacuate the countryside. Oh, and it gave me a plus one plus one. Wow, talk about helpful. Thanks, game. All right, more farms. 20 churches around gives me half a billion people every time I click a button now. Isn't that just lovely? Ruins of the Keep. Okay, so I rebuilt this last time. This time I'll leave it be. What's that give me? Just a plus 1%. I think that's actually good. And now I'm able to buy my first ever guard tower, which gives me 10 billion people per click, which I can then immediately buy another guard tower because of, and then another one. It, it goes really fast. I can already, okay, I have five of them, no, six of them. Can I, I'm gonna be able to buy 10 here in a second, aren't I? Eight, nine, and 10, okay. Well, I'm getting 113 billion people every time I click a button now. It's just, can't be fair, right? That, that can't be right. Ooh, a library. That gave me 26 billion people per second. I feel like we're ramping up extremely quickly all of a sudden. I feel like it should be borderline concerning almost. At least the fun part is I can just start auto-clicking a bunch of bakeries and stuff. To <laughs> Taverns still cost a million. That's fine. Buy a whole bunch of them. Watchtowers, they're cheap. You can get over 100 of these things easily. This herbalist hut, probably get over 100 of that too. Every real city needs 100 of so many things. Massive seeds. Let's Yoink. investigate it. What do I I get this time. Ooh, a magic chemical plant. Plus two to everything. Sweet. I now also have a hundred of uh, most of the early base things. <laughs> Does it do anything for me? I don't really think so. It's just fun. More libraries. That's 133 billion people per second off my libraries now. And I realized that after just clicking and waiting for a bit, I can get this guild hall, which gives me 700 billion people per click, meaning I'm getting a trillion every time. <laughs> That seems 
fair and reasonable, I think. Having a ghost? Get rid of him. <laughs> Banished. I got the Wizard's College with plus 3% now. Sweet. I'm assuming I can get churches to 100 now, too. Yeah. Farms can get up to 81. That's fine. Let's do some more mass clicking real quick. Because that let me get those to 100. I feel like it's just pretty crazy how fast everything adds up. Maybe even borderline concerning. Oh, Dragon's Den again. Recruit some Slayers this time. I like the plus 3% per click. That's where the 1.3 trillion comes in, after all. And now, I bought seven guild halls. I'm able to finally buy the castle. Just goes right in the middle. <laughs> just It's making me 1.8 trillion people per second. I also have another beanstalk, which is purely cosmetic, but it's fun. And I think I've realized that if I just let my auto clicker go, go left, I can just upgrade my guild hall. But then, like, the guild hall upgrades from clicking usually let me immediately buy another upgrade from my guild hall, which then lets my clicking get upgraded. You get it. That my guard tower is level 100 now. <laughs> my library is up to level 72. Because I'm now in four quadrillion. <laughs> And now we're at a hundred libraries. I'm gonna have the most religious, studious, farm, blacksmithed, bakery, butchered people of all time. I think it's pretty safe to say that whenever it comes to kingdom management and building, I might just be the best to ever do it. I mean, look, everyone's so happy. It's like they're throwing a little party in town. <laughs>